here we are at 7350 bass. This is the first one. One that Ollie has. New Pueblo real estate. First thing you notice, the very first thing you notice is the big old mesquite root that's been chopped up but left. But what it did, it got in this driveway here and cracked one of the slabs here. So we need to be addressed. It's a pretty healthy trip hazard. Home's in um, good shape. The fascia looks real good. Um, I can see the one side of the roof on this side when I get back a ways, um, and it, nothing seems to be lifting. I cannot see the southern side, which gets the wear, but judging from looking at the other homes in the neighborhood, um, I don't think we're going to have a problem. Um, here's some yard art right next to it. Garage door needs to be repainted. It's not beat up. It just needs to be cleaned up and painted. Um, one thing to make note is that uh, there's hardly any screens. Missing a bunch of them. You have yard art on the other side, but not as much. On the front door, it used to have a security door, and that's been removed. So I'm going to go to the back next. First thing you notice when you go out here is the post. There it's been throwing knives at it or something. Missing. Missing a cover for that light. Can't see on the roof here because it's so low. On the back on this on the this is the on the south the the more western shape faced to where the stucco is. there and it looks like there's been some stucco cracks that were painted over. You're going to get that because it gets so much sun here and it's just straight old stucco. So um, has a Chaz Roberts AC on it. I assume that they're going to get rid of all the rest of the yard stuff. So here's the back of let's go on the side. Again it's missing a whole bunch of screens so okay here we go on the inside Looks like brand new paint. I think it's a designer Navajo white. I don't know if this is new tile or not, but it's in real good shape. This is a um, great room concept. Again, a beautiful view, whatever that thing is. For the this is the main living area here. Cabinets. Electric stove. Dishwasher, disposals there, for mica tops. Looks like something that Home Depot uh, style oh, lighting there, brass. Here's the master. It's a pretty good size. Again, this is tile throughout. Beautiful view of someone's television. Double sink. I took stills of underneath there. Garden tub. Again, the, ho the home is pretty clean. I think it was recently repainted in that. So had a shower there, but it's so white you can't see it on the film. So big closet. It's a good sized closet. Now you go across the home here is the three bedrooms, the garage, the, the laundry mudroom, another little storage there. This is another bedroom with more yard, the original yard art. Here's the mudroom goes to the, the garage, painted floor, spare hot water heater. Apparently it has a brand new gas hot water heater, so. That's a non-insulated door, just, you know.
Here's a bedroom facing uh, the street. My trusty Toyota. Again, screens are missing. Tile works is a pretty decent job. Now up here, oh, I don't know why that's like that. It's rusted and they put rust oleum on it or something. I don't know. And up on top of the mirror, and missing a towel rod. This is the last bedroom here, so so we have some notes on it, Matt, but we have lots of stills, so so anyways, this is number one, and we'll get the other here in a minute. Here we are at 7370 Bass, two, two doors down from the other one. This one's a uh, Home Smart. Driveway's in good shape on this one. One thing to notice is, uh, I don't know if you will see it, but I can see it, is uh, I think the garage door has been ran into on the left hand side, and there's a dent on the right hand side. So I tried to turn it up and it wouldn't go on, so I don't know what's going on multiple termite tubes on this side of the home. This is the north side of the home. It's been fresh paint but there's a lot of overspray. See what I mean when I say overspray? Even sprayed some block. This one appears to have the correct amount of screens. There is some landscaping with this. It doesn't appear to be any yard art on either side. This is got a big honking anthill right there. Going out on the backyard here. Got a little river rock going on. I think the fascia would take pass the FHA appraisal test. So seems to be some little marks there in the stucco. This is the where it gets the big sun on this part of the house here. This is a 
On the, by the way, on this AC condenser, the fan has been replaced. If you notice, it's wired there and the plates are good. So This part of the house here, don't know if you can see this, but um, it just doesn't have enough paint on it. So I don't know what they were doing. Here's the AC just came on. Pretty quiet. But, but Chaz Roberts are notorious for putting uh, small units in. Let's go inside. Before we do, I don't know what in the world they did there. I think they broke the stucco and filled it with caulking. When you go inside here, the entryway has been changed out with tile. It has two different styles of tile. Okay, again, we have a great room concept. This has got a den, which is, um, it's a den. I guess you could consider it a fourth bedroom, but it's kind of a weird one. It's right off the living room. It's more of a den, but it does have the closet, so technically it has that. So um, tile's been added. In the dining area, it's not the same as the other tile. And then whoever put this in, um, it isn't real straight, just so you know. I have stills of underneath all the sinks and they're all clear, so clean gas range. The other one on the first property was was uh, electric, so okay, take a look here. Let's go into the master. There's a a lot of the caulking has been caulking has been added after the paint with some pretty good sized gaps just so you know that's something I don't think you'd be able to see now here's a some really lovely um, wallpaper here double sink oak, oak bottoms shower there you really can't see into that commode there Again, there's some pretty good gaps to where it's been redone there, so. Okay, here we go down the hallway. Here's uh, bedroom number two. The first we run as a master. Either this house is out of square, or they didn't know how to lay it out. Okay, here we are into the mud mud room, laundry room. Um, I could not get the garage door to operate. I was trying to push in the button. It has a gas hot water and heater out here. The high low vent there. Not painted up pretty like the first one. Here's the bedroom closest to the street. Oh, mustard oil. <coughs> this is then to show you what I'm talking about with the caulking. We'll put the rest in the email. And again, thank you for choosing Bruce and Marina and Integra Group.